So I played squash when I was about five years old. My dad used to play at the local club, um, a small members club in Sutton Coalfield called the uh, Four Oaks Club. Um, so we started going down to the Sunday morning junior sessions there and then we moved to Kenawa when I was eight and continued continued on with the junior sessions and things there. They had a great great junior setup um, and just started playing a few local tournaments and things like that and pro progressed from there really. My dad was definitely the reason I started playing squash. He played on the teams at the club and he, got, um, he was the one that took me and my brother down uh, on those Sunday morning sessions. And then I think when I was a little bit older and just starting to really um, get a love for the game, would definitely be my coach. Um, from when I was about 10 years old at Kenilworth, Steve Townsend. He really taught me to make the most of my own attributes and we learned to play the way that I enjoy playing as well. Never discouraged me from attacking and um, playing around with angles and hold and things like that. And that's the bits that I really enjoy and love about the game. And he definitely instilled a lot of that into me. Until I went professional just before that, it was never really in my plan. Um, I think when I was playing the junior tournaments growing up as a sort of teenager and that, I was, I was always surrounded by this idea that conveyed to me, not by the people closest to me, but by I think everybody else that I wasn't built to play professional squash. I was a good junior and oh, it was probably going to end at that really um, and it wasn't like we had all of the squash TV and everything like we have now so I wasn't viewing the professional game regularly at all and um, I went to watch a couple of times but wasn't seeing it regularly and it wasn't something that occurred to me as a possibility for me so um, when I was doing my A-levels, I applied and went to university, like all my friends were doing. And that was, the, that was what everyone was doing, so that's what I did. And also, as well as being told that by some people, as you know, there was doubts about um, my body. I had a long, long-standing knee issue, which um, was quite painful. And took a lot of work to to get over and was still an issue even at the start of my professional career so it certainly wasn't a um, a career path that I saw for myself from a young age um, even at the end of university I actually got a graduate job and had the contact and contract in front of me and my my coach Steve Townsend he at the time you know, he, I, I was quite excited to tell him about this contract and um, how I remember it anyway. He kind of said to me, like, do you not want to give professional squash a go? Like, I really think you could get somewhere with it. Like, you know, I've really got some belief in you. Um, and that, that conversation really changed my view on it. I um, had a lot of trust and respect for him and you know still do but it was you know he was the one I listened to about about squash then so I thought well if I get if I can get a graduate job now I can get a job I can get a job at any time um well the job sounded interesting it wasn't something I was absolutely desperate to do but actually the thought of playing squash as my job that kind of excited me even more um, and I decided I sort of owed it to not just myself but to all those people who did believe in me to actually give it a go and and, and see where I got see where I got to really. As a squash player I think I always think I, I'd like to be sort of remembered as a sort of player that was 
um, tenacious and gritty and tried to find ways to overcome the adversities put in front of me. I'm never going to be the most agile player. I'm never going to be the quickest player. So I've consistently tried to find ways to make matches about skill and tactics and um, things like that, but whilst still fighting with every ounce of energy that I've got. So I think that that's the sort of legacy of my game that I'd like to leave. But from the other perspective as well, I've been very involved over the last sort of four five years maybe in the um, behind the scenes side re representing the athletes um, on the on the PSA board and things like that and that's really important to me to ensure that the sport is remaining focused on the athletes while still moving forward um, which is only going to benefit the athletes as well so I think that side is um, wow. something that not everyone wants to get involved with. Of course, it takes up some time and um, some energy and things like that. But to me, it's really important. And um, I've, I've felt quite um, obliged, not quite the right word, but motivated to, to be a part of the progression of PSA and, and um, well, all squash in, in general, really, and particularly sort of fighting for the equality and equal pay and um, equal opportunities as well for female squash players um, in a professional um, squash landscape. At the moment, I'm, you know, I'm aware that, that, that at some point I'm going to finish playing and have to do something else other than actually play. Um, which is kind of quite a scary thought uh, because I'm not certain for sure what I'd like to do. Then I think my my degree, which is in engineering and business studies, doesn't it doesn't close too many doors, but it also is not specific to doing en anything either. So um, it's a quite a good sort of background degree for many many jobs, but. Uh, I'm, I'm not certain yet what I'd like to do. You know, I'm definitely looking and exploring some some avenues to see what interests me and what might be possible when I do decide to to retire. But um, it's it's not something that I'm planning on on doing anytime soon. And um, but I'm also aware that obviously that. But as you get older, your body reacts differently, recovers differently and everything like that. So trying to cover all the bases and um, be, a, be a bit prepared if, if the day was were to come sooner than planned.